faculty charts has a particularly useful feature called the open high low close study. Let's take a look. Here I have a 10 minute Japanese candlestick chart of the E-mini S&P June 2020 contract. On the right hand side, I have a volume profile and on the bottom I have the CCI oscillator. I'm going to go ahead and add my open high low close line simply by going up to studies and then selecting the studies. It'll be a drop down menu that gives you all the different studies. And right at the top, I'm going to see something that's called daily open high low close, AT daily OHLC. I'm going to go ahead and apply that. And it's going to paint some lines here on my chart. It has, an, it has a high, this is the green line here, showing me the high of the day. At the bottom, a red line showing me the low of the day. The uh, yellow line shows me the open. And the purple line shows me the close. In this case, since the market's not closed, it's where the market's trading. Now you could customize these lines and I'm gonna go ahead and do that. I'm gonna go to studies and I'm gonna click on daily open high low close. Notice it's at the top now, since I've already applied it to the chart, it shows up here. Here are the things that I have applied to the chart, volume profile, CCI, daily open high low close. I'm gonna click on that to modify it. I could hide lines as an example. Let's say I don't care where the, where the, where the open is. I can click on that, it'll disappear. Um, and uh, maybe I just want highs and lows so I can get rid of the close also. I'm going to go ahead and uh, put those back, though, for the purposes of uh, this demonstration. And, you know, values on the right-hand side of your, uh, of your axis there, if you want to hide the values because the lines are good enough, you could hide the values. Now, one of the things that's particularly interesting to me is that uh, you could, we could show the previous days open high, low, close instead. And so I'm gonna click on that, and then we're gonna hit done. And we'll see, this was yesterday's high, right? We could see yesterday's high, and we could see yesterday's data. Let me just kind of push this up a little bit. Um, and it will show us the low of yesterday, uh, the open, the close, and the high. So that gives me perspective for what happened yesterday as the market kind of trades around and I could see you know, what we're doing in relationship to yesterday. Now, another trick that I kind of, not trick, but another technique that I would use is you could add uh, another instance of this study. We'll go ahead and do, uh, add, click it again on the studies. I'm gonna go to daily open high level close. I'm gonna add it again, a second instance. Now I have today's and yesterday's lines both on the chart at the same time. Now, obviously, you don't want too many you know, the same color lines. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to come into my studies on the second instance, and I'm going to change the colors. You know, maybe I'll make today's maybe a little lighter green uh, is an example. Uh, I'll make the low maybe a little lighter red. Uh, I'll make the yellow, I don't know, uh, really light, maybe, I don't know. It's on a white background, so that might not be that great. But then purple, you know, we'll make it a lighter purple. So now I've actually have eight lines. And uh, obviously you could customize any of these settings still on the second instance of it. But it'll, it'll, it'll color code for me, today's high, yesterday's high. Today's close, yesterday's close. And so it gives me a, a, a way to customize my view on my charts, which puts price in relationship to today and the previous day. Hope that helps.